Hello everybody and welcome once again to Lost Souls. Today, oh well, I'll do a few things we've done. Let's see what we've actually done and achieved. I would like to do uh, a little bit of a mob, well, a bit of a place to do stuff. So let's get on and do that. That's not very clear, was it? Let's just try that one. What I want to do is basically, I've, I've been to the where I was with the, with the miner and I actually, because I've got Silk Touch, now I've actually got all of these things in here. So what I want to do is actually want to take one of those and a gold ore. And I'm going to first of all put those into the smeltery. Oh, it's so nice not having mobs around all over the place. I'll let those get smelted. And I'll show you why in a minute. Now the second thing I'd like to do, we've got this kiln. I actually managed to build the blocks. In fact, I built far too many. I, bought, built, I, built, I made another ten. I think I was getting carried away. Because that's a relatively new thing in immersive engineering. I uh, haven't seen it before. Ouch. So all we need to do with this is just put it down somewhere. Where can we put it down? It's a two, two by two block. Maybe here would be sensible. Let's just set this to three by three mode. Uh, it'll be too much if I do it that way. I'll just do it. I'll do the one at a time. Oh, wrong one. This will be a good spot actually. Because this is kiln, it's just a two by two. So let's just set this going. So it's actually a two by two by two structure, I think is how it's done. Then we just right click the middle and then we get this kiln, an alloy kiln. So we put in here two materials. Does it have a recipes? So that one you have to show me the recipes, does it? And we put some Oh, well, some fuel in there. So let's go and do both of those two things while, we're th while I'm thinking about it. Also, I managed to get my bits back, so let's just break that one and then plant that one. There's, there seems to be a new bug, actually. I've just noticed that when you actually do things like that, it starts to eat. or want to eat anyway, so let's do that. I'll leave the, I'll leave the carrots there for the time being. I don't need any at the moment. Now, one of the things we need to make, if we actually look at those quests. So we're going to immersive tech stuff. We've done sales and I haven't used those yet. So you can add them to your windmill. And I think we will do that today as well. The other thing here is you've got, where's it gone to? Constantin. Now Constantin is this one we need to make a Constantin ingot. So let's look at how we do that. So I'm going to first of all, I assume it's going to work with ordinary cobble. Let's take it anyway. I want about 16 of these. Split that into two. And then I'm going to break some of those into little bits. Like that. So we get the 64 little ones. And Constantin. So we'll look at the recipe for that. is an alloy of copper and nickel, I think. And I guess it's in the, the actual proportions that we need it in. So this is the kiln crafting. So we need one copper ingot and one nickel ingot with a fuel, and it'll make two Constantin ingots. That's also known as Cooper and Nickel, I think. I was looking it up to find out what, what it was. So let's take one copper. We got lots of copper. I think I'll take one of these. They do two different types, and we want one nickel, and I think nickel is here. Got plenty of nickel too. And we're going to smelt those. Now, as far as I know, this works exactly the same. So we put a copper and nickel in here, and then we'll put in some little fuel, and then that lights up and makes the the two ingots for us and I think this keeps burning down just like it does in the furnace well I'm hoping that when it's actually finished there we go it doesn't take any more and it used two nuggets of coal on compressed coal and that's burning but it doesn't seem to be going down so that's fine so now we've completed that quest and we can claim that loot chest oh some more 
I won't waste time not picking those up. I've also discovered that they seem to grow better. The ones here and here have been growing faster, so I've put some more torches around here. See if that actually makes a difference. So let's plant this one as well. Because I'll tell you one thing there seems to be at the moment. There's quite a big need for um, hemp of one sort or another. How much space have I got? Plenty, but I won't do that yet. I'll do that off camera between episodes going harvest the farms. And I haven't been attacked. Well, I was actually attacked by one mob between episodes. So what I would like to do is to pick these up. So I might as well go and bash this all down now because I don't really need this anymore. So let's do that. I guess I've got it set to a funny mode. I don't know what mode I've got it in. Passaging mode, I guess. Because we're safe now, we don't need to worry about mobs coming from that side, as far as I can see. But I'm still having difficulty getting through doors. Now, so that quest, let's get that quest sorted out first of all. Let's claim that one. Done. Let's go to the loot chest here. Print that down here. What have I got? Interdiction torch repels creatures and projectiles. Reliquary uncommon. Well, I reckon that's a pretty good one. Let's, uh, I'll take that with us anyway. So when we go to it and anywhere, we, we don't want to be attacked. We can just put this down, can't we? So that might be good for the um, um, the fortress just behind us. So I don't know what the use of this one is, but it's bound to be something useful in. So you can make plates. It's bound to have some uses. It's got some armor uses on there. Not actually outstanding bows. I'm expecting to have some other uses in here. A centrifuge separator. Obviously some seeds. And a charger. I'm actually expecting to have some uses from immersive engineering. So maybe it's the plate that you'd actually need. Let's go back to that one. Look for uses of that. A thermoelectric generator. Yes, exactly. And some sheet metal. Which will be used later on. And the atomic reconstructor. Which we also need. But the first thing we're going to make now is something useful. Well, I think it's useful. So let's just do that. I've got this lapis here. And I'm going to make lapis glass. Now, lapis glass is basically this. Four blocks of lapis. Well, I'm doing four blocks of lapis. We'll surround that with glass. I think we get lapis glass, we do. Now, lapis glass is great. What I want to do is I want to just break some of these things like quartz. I've got another quartz here. I want the XP from this. So I've got some spikes here and I've got a diamond spike. That'll do. That's going to make a little hole somewhere. I can actually remove this one as well for that matter. Don't need that. Where should we go and do this? Somewhere reasonably unused. I think here might be a good place. So I want to make it three by three. So let's just dig out this area. And I want to go down about three blocks, I think. I'm not sure I've got that passageway down there, but we won't worry about that for the time being, I don't think. I so we'll do. I'll go across here one more. I want to go down one more. I'm going to put some spikes here. I don't know exactly know how many spikes I'm going to need, but I reckon that we can put down. Let's then put some spikes down here like this. Uh, maybe one over there. Maybe two. Oops. Well, I'm talking about the devil. Where's he come from? Ah, oh, it's probably come from there. Let me get my sword out before I get killed. Anyway, thank you. <laughs> now I've got to get these things. I wonder if I can actually do that. Yeah, I can just about jump over those. I'm not sure I can jump over the other way, but uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. Yeah, I can just about do it. 
So let's put some down, some diamond spikes. Let's put them in those two corners like that. Then we need to go back up to the top. We've got plenty of netherrack here, so we don't worry about that either. So what I'm doing is building this like that. What I'm going to put here is now I'm going to put the lapis glass. Now what's special about lapis glass is we can walk on it, but mobs can't. Like that. So now what I'm going to do, and the reason I'm doing this is because of, I want to break these blocks of quartz. And the mechanical miner would do this for us, but I don't think we get the XP. So let's just put this down here. And let's go and get a normal pickaxe. I haven't got one more than me. Let's go and make it quickly. Maybe I've got another bag, actually. Axes. Oh, yes, I've got some stone pickaxes. It'll do just fine. In fact, from, from doing that one, thinking about it, let's put one, let's put down one of these. Let's break this thing. The reason I want to do that is when I was doing this, I didn't get any nether mites. Oh, that fell through. Now, I didn't expect that to do that. Okay. That's going to be a bit of a pain. <laughs> and I didn't get the XP. I'll just tell you what, we'll just... I obviously can't do this with the other bits and pieces now. So where's that pickaxe going to there? Let's just try to make sure we've got the right mode for this. None. And I'm hoping if we get another mites, they go, yeah, they will fall down. So I've just got some more XP, good. I didn't expect items to fall down there. I'm wondering if they're actually breaking on that. Let's go and get those bits and pieces anyway. Oops, I don't mean to do that, do I? Let's use the other pickaxe for that. How many pieces have I picked up here? Seven. Okay. I think that actually we didn't need to do... <laughs> right, that'll do. I actually wanted to make a 5x5 five five block. I don't, know why I'm, I don't know why I'm doing it so small, but never mind, it'll do fine. In fact, I go up nearer to this, I'm likely to pick up the bits, aren't I? So we've got another bit of XP. And last block here, let's just do the last block down. Now, quartz normally gives you pretty good XP, so let's just go down here again and get the rest of those two bits. This is where I need an absorption hopper because then it wouldn't need to do this stuff, would I? Just do it and just get in there. Like that. Quite a few. I can hear them, but I can't see them. Gas floating around. So. That's what I wanted to show you then. I'll carry on doing that between episodes. I want to get as much as I can of XP. So I've got XP, it'll come from coal and it will also come from uh, nether quartz, this one I just did, wasn't it? So let's put that in there. 12. Okay, fine. Now, another question thing I was actually asked by a viewer, Tarak, I think it's called, how we change liquids, the order of liquids in here. And basically, you've got three liquids here. I put two items. Two iron, two gold, and some invar. So what if I, for example, I want the iron out first? I just click it, left click it here, and it goes to the bottom. So then all I need to do is right click this. What have I got there? Is that the cast? I think that's a normal cast, isn't it? Ingot cast. Because it looks a bit similar to the other one. Like that. And of course, if I want the gold at the bottom, I'll just click it over the well, whichever I want to do really. In fact, it's probably a good idea. Let's just turn this on, let it get in and do its stuff. And then it'll just come out. Next one will be 
invar, so we're going to get six ingots in invar, and then some gold. Actually, I have an idea. I'm going to turn this off. What I'm going to do is one of the things you can always do in this stuff is make a, a gear cast. Now, I've not reached the point of doing gears yet, but gears are fairly straightforward. Let's have a look for gears. And I reckon that the one we should build is we build this cast here. So if we make a stone gear. Now, what does a stone gear look like? <laughs> they all look very similar, don't they? And maybe it's an iron gear. That would be one. Wooden gear from X Tesla Core. What's that? A stone gear. Oh, so that is straightforward. Five pieces of cobblestone. Okay, good. So let's go and put this down. Get that out of the way. Put this down here. And then, when I get to gold, let's get gold at the bottom. We should be able to make a cast of that. Let's click that like that. I probably should have used that. I'm in brass for doing that, shouldn't I? And that will disappear. And then we can actually make... Actually took the cast out as well. That's interesting. Okay, put that down there. And then we go on to, let's say we want some involve. We've got two ingots. That's not enough. Uh, but we've got some down here. Let's take four. We're bound to need an invar gear sometime in this mod pack, because we always do. Let's put those up there like that. And then let's just turn this on. So it'll pour enough to make half, first of all. And you can see from the thing it says half full. And then it'll do the rest when, when they've smelted down. And we'll end up with a gear down here as well. So I'll take that down there like that. So I hope that explains how to chain liquids in the smeltery for you. Now, next thing. I've got, oh, I've got the wrong pattern with me, haven't I? I'll tell you what I do, I should make some more item racks because they are quite nice for this type of thing. Now, I forgot, have I got it in there or in here? Yes, I've got plenty in here. I think I'll make three, so we need six pieces. Like that. So we'll just make three of those. Then we can put these three up there like that. Good question to where I'm going to put them, of course, but uh, I think we've got space here. Look, there's one, two there. And there'll be one on the thing, but we'll put another one up, so here like that. There we go. I just completed. So we can actually take that out then, put it on this rack. And then we can put this one down like that. So now we've got our Invar gear. There could be a quest for that, I don't know. So we'll put the Invar gear away and say, let's put it in this chest for the time being. Could always smelt it up again, of course. Now, the next thing. I want to build a tank. We've got these seared bricks. We created the seared bricks and we created this seared tank. So let's have a look at these quests. Let's... So that was done. And I, that was under tinkering, of course. A seared furnace, I think, is the one we need to build. So we've got a tank. So we need a seared furnace controller. Let's have a look at that one. Don't need that anymore, do we? Don't need that. I don't, don't need any of these anymore. So a seared furnace controller is this one. So we've got a furnace, and so we just need some shared bricks, and I think that's prepared in there, and I reckon the other one's in here. Is a furnace in here? Yes, it is. So let's craft the seared furnace controller. Now we should get a quest completed, seared furnace. Let's go and claim that reward. Loot chest done. So now let's have a look what's in this loot chest. My inventory is getting to its usual state. Ah, we got some more storage drawers, which actually nice because we'll put. Well, actually, we put the next one. 
difficulty. I haven't really set this out particularly well because of the, the way the ship's been built. But let's just uh, let's put it in here for the time being because I've got I've got one. We made one last time, so it's not too difficult to make, as you know. Now we've got to go and set this stuff up. And to be honest with you, I don't know how to do that. But let's do that in here. Now my guess is it's going to be 24. That means 26, doesn't it? Uh, maybe it's not a very good place to do this. We're probably going to do it outside somewhere. Where shall I go and just put this stuff down? I'm going to have to tidy out a bit around here anyway, so we might as well do some stuff. Let's put it down here. And my guess is it's going to be a 3x3 three three construction. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take a short break and have a quick look and see what we've actually got to do to that one. Oops. Yep. So I'll see you in a few seconds. Right. I know what to do, Giles. So let's do that. So three by. I'm going to set up a three by three. Or I've got a space in here. Let's get these out of this. Twenty-four. That's fine. So we'll set up the three by three. And I think here's probably a good starting point, isn't it? Feels a bit laggy at the moment. And then we sit around here with some more blocks like this. How many spaces have we got left? Three. And I reckon we probably can go up another layer. I might be wrong about this. If, it, if I can't, I can't. If I can, I can. Like that. And then we put down the tank and the third. We'll put down the tank on the corner and the controller in the middle. We've got three blocks left. That's just right. Perfect. So we'll do that like this so I put this one down here this one I need to be into I'm not going to put some well, it needs to be covered as well so I've put some nether rack down here put another one on top like that and then we should be able to close it up here like this and that sure enough it lights up so now we've got a lot more stuff we can smelt or well, we can smelt stuff a lot faster so we know how many slots have we got here Fifteen, and of course it needs lava. So let's get out of our the infernum chalice here. Right-click that, and then we can simply put some lava into that like that. Now I click it. I want to click this one, don't I? Let's go like that. <laughs> can't can't see. It. I have to click the controller. So we now got lava in there, one bucket worth, and lots of space to stuff shove stuff in. Tell you what we'll do. We'll make some glass, I think. For, uh, yep. Well, that was a very noisy um, gas. I wonder where he'd come from. And I don't know whether or not we can actually smell it. Alloys. Let's just try it on one of these things that we've got here. Let's take a piece of nether iron or and see if that smelts in there. I'm not sure it does. We'll, we'll find out. And if it doesn't find out how much it actually gets, I think it's probably more for cooking. So maybe... Let's take something over here. What have we got in here? I've got one raw gas meat. Let's take that. I'll cook that up as well. And I believe this thing doesn't use the... Oh. Weird doesn't use the lava up so let's put in oh that works yes when it's not in use so I think this goes straight to ingots let's have a look one ingot so actually it's not as good as the thing well we did get the cooked meat and that was much faster than normal furnace so that's great and I think it doesn't go down when it's not in use unlike the furnace I'm oh, very I don't wonder why I'm head on. <laughs> so that's that one done. Do we claim the request for that one? I'm not sure I did to be honest. Let's just put this into here and these two. I think we can get rid of those. 
and I've made some prismarine shards. Now the recipe for this. The reason I want it no, I sorted itself around, didn't it? The recipe for that. The prismarine shards. Obviously you can do it if you can get the essence from the, the flowers. But we I did it using sifting. So I used a diamond sift and sifted some sand. And the chance is actually quite low, two percent. And I did it this way, so you get one times that. So you basically I did nine stacks and I got 18. 16 is around about the normal you'd expect to get from nine stacks. So that was how I did that one. Put that in there as well. Anything else that I want to get rid of? I don't see. So we've got lots of different things going on. Next thing is, let's get some power done. Um, and I need these these don't we need to make some of those so basically that stone and gates so that shouldn't be too difficult I should be able to click that in so we've got three we'll make six and we also need to make some of these one set will do I reckon to start with let's remove these you've got plenty of actually got plenty of sticks and things so this was this one wasn't it so let's do that one I haven't got any cobblestone. Yes, I've got cobblestone. I think it's cobblestone we need, isn't it? Maybe there's no cobblestone in that chest. Let's just get some out of here to be sure. Because I do remember it used it up last time, didn't it? Oh, I was getting using the other cobblestone, so let's try that again. Ah, it's stony ones. Ah, oh, chisel stone. Okay, no big deal. Do that like that. I think that'll be all we need to do. And fences. Shouldn't I forget two or three of those? Oh yeah, that's right. Makes sense. So now we've got getting wires up as the quest. So let's kind of have a look at that quest as well. I remember that one from last time. Fairly straightforward. Um, I've done that one. I think we can't do this one because the seared glass is very very difficult it's using hardened glass and we need um, obsidian for that it might not be bad to do mending and it probably goes to the reinforcement these this one is probably less ex exciting these days with our excavator in here so but i will do them anyway just to complete the quest immersive tech so this is that one and I've completed both of those two bits, so we can claim the loot chest done. Um, then we have to make low voltage, so we have to make a LV capacitor. Oh, I've done the. Okay, I've got some of those. I'm not quite sure it says four of one, but there we are. Um, and some LV wire connectors, relays, and a capacitor, so we can do that as well. Now. Yeah, I have to do it, in fact. I have to do it first. Let's see if we can do that. So, let's have a little LV. It might be a good one. Search in here. So, we've got some low voltage wire. So, we need to make these. So, we need to make those. So, we need that one. Actually, in fact, let's go back one and make this one. Gallagher. Ah, oh, I can use my Gallagher for that. Okay, great. That's actually not bad. In fact, let's open up the chest while I'm here because I've forgotten about to do that. <laughs> Battle axe and a diamond pickaxe. Very good. They were clusters basic, weren't they? Let's just put those in there. Do you know, the, these X, Xnet thing, he removed Xnet but quite a long time ago. I'm surprised they're here, to be honest with you. And I'm sure I updated it, but you never know. I probably didn't do. And I haven't actually talked about these either, but a lapis lamp is a lamp that gives you light, but the mobs think it's dark. And the other way around for the redstone lamp, it gives it has light and you can, the mobs can't s don't spawn. Right, where are we now? I was doing the Gallagher, wasn't I? And probably Gallagher's in... Where have I put the Gallagher? Probably in my bag. I need the wire cutters. Oh, I've got the wire cutters there, haven't I? I need the Gallagher. Here we go, one Gallagher. So let's get some copper out of here. Although at least uh, I think probably need to do at least 
12 of these. We'll do 12 anyway. So we can make these plates like that. Oh, well. Okay, let me just cut these up. I guess we can cut these up with the ordinary engineer wire cutters. We can indeed. Okay. So now we can make one one of these. We make four, so we just need a stick. And they're in the other chest. <laughs> right. Yeah. Then we can make a relay. That's what LV wire connector. Three copper and terracotta. Is that clay? Nope, it's just fired blocks of clay. Okay, we need four of those. Okay, my dust is here. That's good. Let's go and make those. Well, I can make at least two, can't I? And then I have to wait. It, it shouldn't take too long to get the third one. But the fourth one will take a bit longer. Now we cook these up. We might as well cook these up. Actually, we might as well cook these up downstairs, might not just for a bit of fun. And I've also got to set up here. Obviously, here I'm going to have to set up some of the other bits and pieces. Let me just remove this lot. So I've got more space to get to this thing. So we wanted to put in the clay. So they should cook up fairly quickly. That's used half a bucket of lava up to do. Okay, so it goes down. So each one of these takes half a bucket of lava. So I reckon that it's probably going to use a full bucket of lava to do these three. We'll see in a second. And then we should get three terracotta being done. That's like that. I could have split them up to go faster. We'd have three sets done then. I might as well pick up this one as well. <laughs> All right, let's get my um, let's get my pickaxe out here. Probably don't need this on here anymore, fortunately. Where's it gone? I probably don't need these two, but for the sake of safety, I'm going to leave them there for the time being. So now we should be able to at least get the fourth fourth uh, clay. And let's shove that into this furnace anyway, so we can get this one done. Take the bricks out of there. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Where's it gone to? Let's put those bricks in here. We've got a few bricks in store now, which is quite nice. I'm going to put the lapis glass here, and I'm going to put these aquamarine things in here. Now, the reason I want those, the uses of these, I want to make... I think I need to make... Um, What's it called? You know, I've forgotten the name of it, but it's... I think it was the Sea Lantern. Yes, this is it. A crystal, a growth crystal. Because the use of this one, to make the second tier, we needed these uh, amethyst blocks, which we've actually got one of. And crystal's probably not going to be possible for the time being. <laughs> All right, that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> is that the, um, what level is that one? Group tier two, goodness. Okay, well, a tier one will do, so I'm quite happy to do a tier one. But then the uses of this again, we need to basically grind these up, and I think the crusher is the one that we need to do this one. So I'm aiming for power to make the crusher. Well, let's just finish this I want to finish this quest off, then I've basically got time to go. So we need to, I'll do it over here actually. LV. We should be able to do one of those, a four, that's fantastic. And this one, and oh, we need two more blocks. Okay, that's probably not such a problem. Let's go and do that as well. So we can probably cook that. And I think we only need one of those, don't we? So put cook those two. Um, it would be nice to put the um, the furnace inside, wouldn't it? Oh well. What was the other thing we've got to make? An LV? This one. So what do we need? Wooden planks, no problem. Copper, no problem. Lead, no problem. Gold, glisten, no problem actually. We just need the treated wooden planks, just two of those. 
then we should be able to make the LV capacitor. Just like that. So now we should have those two clay, which we've terracotta, which is great. And then we can make the, the relay. And that should complete. Oh, we get eight of them for that. That's pretty good. And that should complete the quest low voltage. Let's go and claim it. Well, let's have a look at the... Oops, I want to go back to that quest, actually. I want to keep that immersive tech one open. Um... One thing I didn't look at was show you this one, the uses of this one. It should have a usage on here. Strangely enough, it doesn't. But I know exactly what it does. It's going to. Well, I reckon I do anyway. Not something I've tested because this didn't exist in the previous version of. Um, as I was playing with Forever Stranded, I want to pick it up, so I should go up here a bit. So we need an axe, I reckon, to get this off here. My inventory is full again. <laughs> My inventory is full again. Let's just move something out of there. Now the windmill's got eight blades. So what we can do with this is I'm, I've got a feeling because I was looking at the wiki and going, oh, I don't know what these wind sails do. And I didn't see anything written about it except for there was a note in the change log. Um, not there. Here. Let's move those out of the way. And what it says, put that in the middle, is it's an upgrade of the other of the of the windmill. Where did I put those sails? Probably in here. Yep. So let's just try doing this one. <laughs> that looked funny, didn't it? And I reckon what we're doing is this, because we're making eight of them. No. So I don't know. Maybe it doesn't work that way. Maybe if it was anything, it could work this way. Nope. All right, that didn't work. <laughs> huh. That's a bit strange. Anyway, what we'll do is we'll open up this last ch loot chest. Now, over the next couple of weeks, it's school holiday time, and I'm not going to be able to make quite so many episodes. Oh, yes. Good one, I like these. Good reward, let's just put those into there for the time being. It's school holiday time, so I'm not going to be able to make so many episodes as I have been doing, which might be a good thing, but maybe not. Uh, anyway, I will do my best. Well, there's a mob just in front of me. So what I'm gonna do between episodes is do some more resource gathering, I think. And I've got six XP. I'd like to get my XP up a little bit. And I might prepare a mob grinding type place, I think. So I'm, what I'm going to do for that, I'm just going to dig a hole and make it dark. And because it's dark, there should be a few mobs around. So until next time, I wish you all the best. And have fun. Well, I've just figured out how to use these cells. I'll show you how to do it. Sorry about that. I just had to come back and do this because I thought, oh, I'm bound to have a little trick for this. All you have to do is right click them on the windmill. I didn't have to take it down. I got the speed of that. It suddenly goes up a lot faster. I have a feeling, I wonder if that would actually break the gearbox. But anyway, I'm going to replace this. Between episodes, I'm going to replace this a vertical windmill so I'll do that off camera uh, maybe I'll do the assembly between times until then I wish you all the best bye for now again <laughs>